this one is for your glutes, right? So if you can just stretch like forward and hold it for like 15, 20 seconds. You know? Next, yeah, for the blood. Yeah. All right, so if I lean forward, I can feel it here. Okay. Okay, then you've got the quads. Okay, here. And how do you position your foot behind? So your foot, it's all in the same line. And pull it gently. 20 seconds as well. And that's for the adductor here. Keep keep the back straight. And try to lean forward as well. That's it. And this is for change. This is for for the um, hamstring. Because yeah. you've got to stretch a lot in squash, especially in the front. So you need to be flexible as well. Stable and flexible, you see. So you really need to, to work this. And in training, you need to work a lot of uh, a lot of their plyometrics to be able to reach the balls in the front. This one. This is for your calves. All right. This one. And the back one. For the back, yeah? For the one in the back. It's for the foot in the back. Like yeah, the foot in the back. Yeah. The other camera's on. For 20 seconds as well. The, anchor, the foot doesn't have to be on the ground all the way. Yeah, if you wish. Okay. And this one is for the lower part of the curve. Where? So this one is more like here. You know? So it's closer to the wall. Then uh, this one, it's for all the muscles called the fascia, the IT fascia lata. Yeah. You have to stretch it like this. It yeah. takes great balance, no? Yeah. Yeah. It's better if uh, if you have someone with you for this one, because if you know you have to push here, but you don't have to move this shoulder. You know you have to keep it to the ground. So it's hard to do it yourself. Or you can use an elastic or something. 